Hey guys, encountered a problem with this dom <coughs> dominar. So this is the uh, the brake wire, the front brake. Yeah. So essentially just a contact you know, on and off. And as you can see, it's short circuited. You can see the burn right here. And if you trace it, um, I think it terminates right here, from here, it terminates right here. And if you can see, yeah, it got melted also there and here. And I think the problem is there. There's water. Uh, I don't know how, how the water got inside from here. Probably from there going here. So yeah, it's not good. That's why it won't start. So now I know the problem why. So I need to, to fix the wire. I don't have some tools here. I have some basic tools, but hopefully I can, I can do something about it. So guys, this is the final correction that I made. I cut a few of this so that it doesn't go a few of this, like to one inch and a half. So it doesn't, doesn't go big up to here. And I also, there, either so that in case water does get in, it doesn't create a small of small reservoir there. And I just I didn't cut the wire or replace the wire, but rather I wrapped it with uh, more electrical tape. Yeah, there, right here. So this is the two wire that uh, got short circuited right there and here. Uh, primarily because of it is brown here. Yeah. Primarily because of uh, water that got in uh, from here. Yeah. So to be honest, I don't know where it came, came through. Probably every time I wash. Yeah. So I added more tape and I reconnected back. Yeah. I think I've shown that before. So. Yeah, always good. And I can put this back. So the motor bike is okay now. Hope that helps you. So if you happen to open your headlight assembly, uh, make sure that uh, you poke a hole there so that the water. And that's actually an idea. I may need to do the same on the other thing there because there's this possibility as well that if water get in through this, it might short circuit. Maybe this one here, so yeah, I'll just put a hold. Thank you guys, bye bye.